So listen, we're going to go ahead and get started. I try to give people enough room to come on in the room. So I'm blessed to see you all. I'm glad you all could make it. Amen. I hope everyone had a blessed day today. So I want to just go ahead and get to it. I won't waste no time. I do want to say, though, about Ambassador Latifah Bryant, that ever since I have met her, she has been a literal ray of sunlight. <laughs> Amen. So I wanted her to come in and talk to you guys about credit because I'm on a mission to not just train and equip believers or people in the prophetic, but to help build well-rounded disciples. And I want us to not only be ascending in the spirit, but also in the natural realm. Amen. I want us to have it all together on all sides. So one of the things that we're going to um, cover and talk about, especially tonight, is credit repair and credit restoration. Amen. Um, so I'm happy to have Ambassador Latifa on tonight. I'm sure that each of you will enjoy the information that she gives you. Please, if you have any questions, jot those questions down. Um, there will be a Q&A at the end. I'm sure Latifa doesn't mind if you put questions in the chat. In the chat, But let's just be mindful. We don't want to distract her um, from her assignment here tonight. So without further ado, I'm introducing to some and presenting to others Ambassador Latifa Bryant. Somebody say, whoop, whoop, Latifa. <laughs> Thank you, um, Prophetess Renee. Thank you for the opportunity for allowing God to speak to you to um, pull me back in. Um, <laughs> and just to give a quick testimony, y'all, I've been doing um, credit repair for about five years now, but due to um, not seeing and believing what God had placed in me for other people, um, I didn't have that strong belief or faith that it was going to push out. So a little backstory, um, when I end up sacrificing to go to the She Is Worthy conference, they open up the floor for me to do the presentation there. I was so nervous, shaking in my boots, like the, the figure of speech was saying, um, cause I haven't did it in so long, but, um, God has been pulling at my leg for me to get back into it to help. Um, because I do know that I have the gift of helps and I do love to help people. Um, just because I'm not, um, particularly say that I am, um, well experienced in everything but the knowledge that God has placed in me I am willing to sacrifice the knowledge and give the information to help each and every one of you and everybody that I come across so credit restoration everybody needs um it's not just for people that has bad credit um the ones that have good credit um, are you staying up on your credit restoration to continue to keep positive revolving doors with increase in payments? Are you up to date on paying on time and making sure we do what we're supposed to do? Because um, we can always go and apply for something and that inquiry just sitting on our credit profile. And sometimes that can affect us. So it's, it's for everybody. It's not just for the ones that have bad credit. It's for good credit, too, um, to keep us accountable to um, have all the earthly goods. So I really, truly thank you um, for this opportunity because you reached out to me when God was telling me to get back out there. And I was like, no. And then when you came and messaged me, I was like, oh, OK, Lord. So you're stepping on my toes. So I'm just going to move myself out the way and just say yes this time and give you the business. That's all I'm going to do. So I thank God for your obedience to 
um, hold me accountable as well as many other brothers and sisters in Christ that I have in leaders. Um, it's always good to have a good um, fellowship with um, people of God and prayer warriors because they help you get to where you need to be. So um, we can go to the next slide. All right. So UCES is United Credit Education Services. Um, the fact of it is it is a nonprofit um, organization that came about. Um, it's been over 10 years, I think. You can go to the next one. Um, the company came from the company came from um, a well-reserved um, person that came from out of the states into the states, and he collided into the business with um, someone, and they was like, "Hey, we gotta teach these people on how to um, fix their credit, keep their credit, um, learn from the academy." that was in it to do right because every time is it, we're not always going to be perfect with everything we do mess up sometimes or you know like me I had co-signers so with me co-signing for people and getting roommates um with rental and stuff that has caused a lot of um conflict due to my credit um, when I was young, so about time I turned the age of 22, 23, my credit was shot. I had a 435 credit score. Um, I had a lot of student loan debts on there, two evictions, two volunteer repossession. And when I joined the company to help um, individuals to repair their credit I was able to repair mines at the same time so basically I was a product of the product so I really um thank God for the opportunity but um UCES is basically a company that um I refer clients to um but I do also have my own thing because UCES is a bit um, high when you're repairing credit because you have a lot of bundled packages with it instead of just teaching on disputing and just going in to teach people more depths and everything. So yes, like she said, I am a brand ambassador. So I do refer and consult people to another agency. Um, you could go to the next slide. All right. So the company, um, like I said, it's been over 10 years, but now it's 18. We've been in this for a very long time. Um, we've been helping millions of families get their um, buying power back, being debt free, um, teaching people how to pay off their um, payments with debt cancellation and just teaching how to manage your um, credit. So basically, it teaches you how to be independent and reliable. You can go to the next slide. All right. So how many people know how your credit score is calculated? Because before I came into the business, I did not know how it was calculated um, to get like home, car, um, college, financial aid, anything. If you already knew how your credit score was calculated, drop some fire emojis. If not, you can do the explanation point or the I don't know sign, right? So 35% is your payment history. It is a one-time payment, basically with your delinquents, delinquencies within the last 24 months is very important. So say, for instance, if you have a credit card, right, we only want to utilize 30 percent. I love to tell my clients only go to um, 15 to 25 percent. The reason why is because sometimes we as people, we want to push that red button and go over the 30 percent mark with the credit utilization. So that percentage um, will affect it. So when you pay things on time, I love to break it down to tell my clients or people that 
I get in contact with, hey, did you know you can do a two payment method program um, with your payments? Call the people on um, the first 15 days of your billing cycle, make the first payment, half of it. The next three days before, make the second payment. So it shows in the system, hey, this individual is paying on time. They're paying two payments. So it will increase your credit score, right? So the length of credit is how long the um, collections or your bill's been on your account for so long. So that's 15%. So say, for instance, if you started um, school, college when you got out of high school in 2019 you graduated you went to college you got that college loan still there is 15 percent because it's still there because of the length that is there even though you fell into delinquencies or um sorry y'all somebody trying to call um even when you fell into delinquencies or any um thing with your student loan right so say for instance if you brought a car and you have four years to pay it off because your credit was wasn't as um high as a 750 right so by you making your payments let me ask y'all a question do you know if you're making your payments or you're making your premium payment towards the car why do you think the arp percentage is so high do anybody know that what do anybody know the normal percentage to have for good credit with the arp percent for credit cards or anything. Do anybody know that? If you don't know, you can put question marks. If you do know, you can um, put a number out there. So new credit increase is 10%, right? So I want y'all to hold y'all questions. So new, new increase is 10%, right? So credit utilization, do anybody know that? You, if you have a credit card, you can add your kids to the credit card, right? Did y'all know that too? To teach them how to build their credit. It's 10%. So the other 10% is the type of credit. Um, so like your card payment, um, rent, um, did you know you can do um, rental um, report to your credit um, bureaus? It's a lot of um, things out there like credit my rent. It's a, um, you can easily Google it, create your um, profile. If you have the app Experian, um, Experian does a boost as well. You can go to the next um, the next one. So most people that have um, good credit, you don't want your percentage amount to be over five or seven. Um, I know that they have done like a real big increase on principles, um, closing costs when you're purchasing homes. You want to keep it below a um a, a six now if you have two and it's high when you're closing on a home or anything and your credit is not there it is a lot of resources that you can use to do a down payment the higher your down payment is it does help your principal with um closing costs and when you're purchasing a home the amount and length of how long you'll be on your mortgage plan and with cars you don't want it to be that high neither because the um the higher your principal are the longer you're going to stay in your loan so I hope that answers some of y'all questions that had mainly question marks 
So did you know that I'm pretty sure the number is a little bit higher now? Sorry, I got to zoom in. Um, it is 1.6 million identity theft claims that was made in 2020. So if you are a person that has dealt with identity theft, um, it is easy to dispute any of identity theft. Like, for example, right? So you pull your credit profile and even though you knew that you went and um, applied for this, right? But by the company spelling your name wrong, add a letter, miss a letter, spell your name wrong, don't have the right address or anything, you know, you can dispute it through identity theft because that's not you. Your name has to match your social security and birth certificate, right? The spelling of your name. So if you have anything on your credit profile that is not correct, spelling of your name, it is easily to dispute with the identity theft, right? Did y'all know that? All right, so 14.6 trillion American household in debt reported in 2021. So just imagine how high the number is now. 80, no, 64% of Americans are expected to retire with less than 10,000 in their retirement savings account. Now, from this year all the way till now, when you go to Walmart or any other places, are y'all seeing the senior citizens working more than the youth now, right? The reason why is because they can't afford it. Society and the economy went up high. So they're continually to still work as they collect um, their retirement funds and SSI. And which as that is sad. So we need to grab hold to the things that we need to do. So our grandparents, our parents, um, even when we come up in the age of time and our kids um, grow up, we don't want that pressure on them. Right. So if this is helping you, I need you to drop some fire emojis in the chat, some strong arms. You know, if this is new information to you that is helping, please drop some smiley faces in the chat. All right. So 60% of Americans lack in estate planning with AARP. Um, do any of y'all know what AARP is? And just, sorry, I got a call, y'all. I don't know how I'm still getting these calls with this thing on Do Not Disturb. So just one decade student loans business um, balances has jumped over to 150%. And basically, you can see the website. I told um, Prophetess Renee, I don't want to hide anything from y'all with the company with because these are basically our notes and if i have to hide anything from you then i'm not operating through god so i just want y'all to see all of this where it comes in and this is back in 2020 21 and we're all the way in 24 about to go in 2025 so just imagine the numbers going up you can go to the next slide all right, so 1.4 Americans, one out of four, one in four Americans have the credit score less than 650. So it ranges from between 300 to 850. 850 is the highest. Um, how many of y'all know who has an 850 credit score? Mainly it's like 720, 750. But to have an 850 credit score, that means you are on top of your game and you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're making sure you're not lacking in anything. And like the Bible says, he does not want us to lack in um, Psalms 23. He wants us to be blessed in the earth just as well as in him. 
So 25% of the country are spending much more than what they actually have. So um, say, for instance, if you done did a budget plan for all your bills and where you are now, how many of y'all still need more income? How many of y'all have second jobs or get gift recurring gifts from other people or any source of income? Don't be ashamed because we're all there. We're not perfect, right? But this is to teach us to where we'll have savings up for a rainy day. So you can go to the next slide. All right, so good credit versus bad credit, right? The reason why I say good first is because we're all going to step into having good credit. We're coming out of bad credit. So good credit, we're going to claim on today. So everybody put in the chat, good credit, speaking in advance. Good credit, speaking in advance. Get your paper. Write on your paper when you're ready to purchase your home, the year. Do your vision. If you got to do a, a blueprint vision with the house, ask the Lord to guide you. Write that date in that year and stick on it and ask the Lord. Keep planting seeds over it and speak that I will have good credit by such and such time so I can purchase my home for the family and allow God to operate in the home, right? So for example, 650 and below, your monthly payment is 2655, but if you have a 740 and above, $1,149, right? Which one do you prefer to pay? You don't even have to have a purchase home right now. These are apartments um, fees where we're doing apartments fees. You see how the bottom is um, under the 5%, like I was speaking earlier in the, um, the um, interest rate. Just imagine if your score is, is below a 650, you're way too high. That's a 12.99, round it off. That's a 13, that's too high. You're paying out too much. You're, you're just breaking your back just to live. God don't want us like that. He wants us to be blessed, right? So you can go to the next slide. All right, so auto, if you're looking for a car, I would suggest that you take your time when you're looking for a car. If you want to get a car that's paid all the way out and you don't want no car payments because you have other car bills, that's good too. I wouldn't suggest that you go out there and purchase your car. But if you are a person and your credit is on par and you need a positive revolving door, go ahead and purchase that car. But while you're purchasing a car, I want you to look at this, right? The interest rate, do you see the interest rate? How high the interest rate for a 560 and below. Mind you, this PowerPoint was done back in 2020. Just imagine the increase rate now. If you have above a 740, it is 6%. That is manageable. How many of y'all have car payments now that you're paying over $500 for a month? If you do, guess what? You can look through some um, areas to where you can bring down that payment. But if you do bring it down, you're going to be in that loan pretty much longer. So what I like to tell people is if you are doing your car payments and you have a credit card bill and your bills are overdue and it's stressful to you, cut back on going out to eat. Focus on purchasing groceries at home and um, and um, observe your intake. Just cut back so you can have that good credit. Okay, you can go to the next slide. All right, 
So as you see, if you want, you could take a screenshot of this, right? So when a person has bad credit and you're trying to apply for things um, to work through for your family, and most women now, we are with our children right now while we're waiting on our spouse, or if so, our spouse is out handling the business and they're fumbling the money, right? Because we know that the women... Um, they bring the bread to the women and the women handle business because we, our mindset is like, nope, I got to do this, do this, do this, do this, right? So when we're focused on budgeting and making sure our bills are paid, um, sometimes we kind of have that, that worry in us. We don't want to be stressed out. So that's when we, that's when we go to the word of God and we constantly Ask the Lord to help us, um, help us make a way of exodus. Teach us the knowledge and wisdom on how to make sure we don't have bad credit. So we're walking into good credit. So now with the information that y'all have so far, are you willing to hold yourself accountable to get into good credit? Because it's easy to mess up your credit, but it's a process to fix. Are you willing to hold yourself accountable to fix, get the, the credit restoration, to build your credit, to be in a good standing so you have your buying power back and everything else? Are you willing to be hold yourself accountable? If you are willing to hold yourself accountable, I need to see some fives in a group chat. The reason why I said fives, because five is for the number of grace. All right, you can go to the next slide. All right, so this company with UCES, it comes with all of these bundle packages, but that's the reason why the amount it is high as it is. So if you have a problem with funding and you, you're not budgeting right, you have that budgeting tool in the um, map, you have the credit restoration part that um, does with the dispute letters every three months. It depends on where your credit is because everybody's credit profile is different. So you also have a credit builder as well as um, have y'all ever heard of self kickoff? Um, have you ever heard of um, the, the stables? Stables um, credit card or First Progress or um, Capital One. Everybody like to go for Capital One or through the banks. Have y'all heard any of them? If so, just put which company have you heard of? If you have the itself, you know, self is real good. You'll make your payments monthly and then at the end of the year, you'll get your money back. That's how self does you paying off that loan right? So um, credit monitoring. When you're doing credit monitoring and you're going through your dispute process, I just want to go ahead and let you know, if you are disputing anything off your credit profile and you're doing the um, credit monitoring, if anything gets disputed off, do not be upset if you see your credit score drop. Remind y'all back on the um, calculations of the, the way how your credit score is calculated. So how long it's been on your credit profile? Do anybody remember what percent it is? Let's see if y'all was tuning in. Do anybody remember? If so, drop the percentage in the group chat. If you don't remember, it's okay. Right, it's 10%. It is 10%, y'all, 10%. So by that being on there for that length, right, with the credit, on, if it gets dropped, so sometimes if it's been on there for eight years, it can take your points down from 15 to 20. Um. A lot of people be hurt when they see that, but we have to remind you, 
when you're going through this dispute, that what could be the cause. That's why we tell y'all to get a secured or unsecured credit card to help keep that revolving credit um, coming up. And then once you see that drop within um, 15 to 30 days by you having a secured or unsecured credit card, you'll see the next month how high your increase of your score go. Um, that's how that gap come in. Um, so with debt payoff, so say for instance, if you done signed a, um, a agreement to make sure you make this payment um, and you did it through the judge, that is something that you are agreed to pay off. Hold on, Aiden. You got something up there. Sorry, that was my son. So Rocket Lawyer comes with it. Rocket Lawyer is a lawyer system um, that you have active lawyers in this um, protection plan. The financial lockbox. The reason why I love the financial lockbox is because you can put your driver's license, your ID, identification, social security card, um, passport. You can put all them documents into your financial lockbox. The reason why this is a great asset um, one of the women that had this um, protection plan, she went on a cruise ship, y'all, and she lost all her documents. Um, it has got stolen. But for her to get back on the ship from where she was, she had to think on doing a financial lockbox. Pull up your financial lockbox so you can verify who you are. And that is a good asset to have and digital, right? Because we always going to have our cell phones. Technology is always changing. So the identity monitoring basically um, covers like if your information is sold on dark uh, websites or thank you. Whenever you want to go check them out downstairs. Okay. This is I got the um treatment on my hair. Okay. So sorry, y'all. So whenever you um have identity um theft, we are very big on that. We want to make sure nobody um be a victim of identity theft. So the identity monitoring um basically goes through like the um all state or um progressive through the company everything that you see on this page is the bundle package that comes with it in uces basically so how many of y'all know y'all net worth how many of y'all know your net worth do you know your net worth do you know how much money you are worth basically to the society, right? So they love they love to use um celebrities net worth, how much they've been worth when they pass, right? So Do y'all know about the will and trust? Um, do any of y'all have a will and trust? Okay, so the will and trust basically is, so say for instance, if you do pass on, who's handling everything for you? Do you have that in place? Basically, do you have a will and trust in place? And that comes with it. Um, it comes with the um, bundle packet. You can click on the icon, create it with the um, specialist. As long as you're in the um, program, you can change it as much as you want. But once you complete um, the program in the bundle packet, it is yours. So if something happened to you or a family member that you add in, say for instance, like if it was your grandma, you add your, you got your grandma a will and trust and because you knew she was 
sickly and things was going on and God done called her home. By you having that will and trust in place, the state cannot tell you what you want to do or have to do to um, get their, their possessions to pass it on. So that's just a documentation that's laid out. Um, I did skip over the savings gold. Savings gold, I would just say if you can purchase the little envelope um thing off of TikTok and do the TikTok challenge, put the dollars, five, tens, twenties, hundreds, fifties in there, and just try to save at least a certain amount. Write the amount between you and God that you're gonna put in. And just do the savings gold challenge if you can't um, get this asset here. Now, the last thing is the YFML Mint. Uh, basically, everybody that comes into the company, $9 goes towards um, the income to get scholarships to go into the schools to teach the students, the high school students. Now, um, for the past two years, they took it into teaching elementary and middle school um, students as well as high school students to give back, um, to teach them not to be in debt. Because um, ma mainly of us that's on here, we didn't have these courses while we was growing up. And I thank God that they opened it up to the schools to be able to start teaching them on how to do business credit, building credit, making sure that they're budgeting right. You can go to the next um, next um, slide, please. So if you are interested, um, it is $188 and it is $89 monthly. But um, if you end up joining and you refer five people and then five people sign up, that month you'll be free. So every month you'll have to keep referring um, five people, five people sign up, and then you'll keep being free for the months. But it is a way to give back to the youth. Um, I'm not asking y'all to join the company. Um, you can end the, um, the slide. I'm not asking y'all to join the company. So um, with that being said, um, I know a lot of people's funds may not be where they're supposed to be. So I um, basically took down the prices and I created a um, gold packet, a platinum and a premium packet, basically to teach. Um, I'm still working on my website to build a course with each and every one that um, wants to restore and build their credit. So um, the gold packet, I think, is um, um, 35. The premium should be um, 55, and the platinum should be 75. But it will be a monthly fee that comes out because I'm not just going to do dispute letters with you. I'm not just going to... Um, send out the letters and talk with you. I'm going to get down with you one-on-one -on -one to break down your um, credit profile to help restore your credit. Then I'm also going to teach you um, how not to get back into it. And then if you need the help again, you have the knowledge yourself to do it to where you don't have to find me to do it or anybody else. Um, I know a lot of people is charging an arm and a leg, but I am only here to help people get back to where they be, are. Um, I was struggling with adding prices to it. So if you do want to um, get a free consultation with me so I can do a walkthrough with you, and it's just not just credit profile. It's Anything that's dealing with business, if you're trying to do anything, um, click the link that um, Prophetess Renee just dropped in the chat. Um, I am here. I am willing to help. Um, I will let you know it is faith-based. I will pray before we even start to ask the Holy Spirit to help me decrease 
as Latifah increase as the Holy Spirit so I can help you where you need to be. I will ask for strategy and wisdom and knowledge on from the Holy Spirit to help. I also offer um, websites, um, flyers, um, banners, app developers, clothing apparel, as well as um, I refer them to my brother, um, Prophet Antonio. He is real good, y'all, with everything. The apparel is through Ebb. She does great t-shirts, designs, and everything, um, as well as grant writings um, for nonprofit and profit, any policies and procedures that y'all need to write, any contracts, any um, sponsors. I am here. That's why I am a brand ambassador. I'm learning all these resources to help push us back into the earthly goods that God has said that we are going to be blessed abundantly. So in order for us to do it, we have to put ourselves in accountability in alignment to do what he called us to do. So if you have any questions, you can open up your mic or however, um, Prophetess Renee, however you want to do it, we can go from there. Don't be shy. So if you do have any questions, go, you can go ahead and unmute and ask, or if you're just that shy, you can type it in the comments. Okay, so anybody that had questions, did I cover your questions through the PowerPoint? Okay, y'all are more than welcome to click the link and um, schedule a free consultation. I just ask if you are doing it Monday through Friday, please do it after um, five o'clock. Um, and I'll be here on weekends. Um, I am open. Um, so if you need to just message me, um, or get in contact with Prophetess Renee or Eb or Lady B, um, please reach out to them and let me know. Um, um, Prophetess Renee, if you don't mind, can, um, Lady B speak on her testimony with her free consultation with me? Absolutely. Okay. I'll be trying to be a bystander. <laughs> um, blessings, everybody. How y'all doing today? Um, I just wanted to, I just want to testify. Um, I took her, I took the um, free consultation last week. And, it, you know, as many as y'all, y'all will know me. There is so many things <laughs> that God has put on me to complete. So many tasks, like, as far as ministry and um, I literally was thinking about all of these things at one time. And after sitting with Latifa, she prayed for me. And then we began to discuss um, what would be the best way to handle the projects. And as um, we were flowing, the Holy Spirit was just um, giving her wisdom and insight on things that I would have never thought about doing. Um yes. She is a well of information, y'all. Anything that you are needing in this season, like if you are, she's a well of information, a well of knowledge um, as far as business, as far as um, business credit, as far as anything pertaining to business. Um, not only that, um, she sees your vision um, because God allows her to see it. Um, and it's just so, um, it's so wonderful, like to even have her come and speak um, what she's speaking, she's doing it out of her heart, like no, no intention behind it. It's just, she, she really, what does the word say? My people perish because of lack of knowledge, because God is instilling all of this knowledge in her. It's a well that she's trying to share with other people. And if you know that you don't understand something, or maybe it's something that you need extra understanding from uh, allowing another person in to to have a conversation with you about it can really jumpstart you into the direction that God is calling you to be um, and calling you to. I, I literally, I'm like, girl, you may, you might as well go ahead and get you a license, be a life coach. Cause you changed my life. And just the, the little short time that we had. And I, I didn't even want her to get off the call. I'm like, can I, can I get more time? Like, so it was just amazing. I just wanted to share that um, for anybody that was interested. 
Hey man, so y'all, um, thank you for having me. I'm gonna put my phone on mute and I'm just gonna sit here and let Propsis Renee go ahead. <laughs> Not you trying to be shy and bashful with all that knowledge up in that brain. Come on now. Listen, I do want to encourage anyone here that is interested and improving themselves in the area of credit, personal credit, and things like that, and any other service that she offers, um, to just go ahead and click the link, schedule your appointment, um, keep an open mind, keep an open heart, and trust that the Spirit of God will be in the midst of your meeting. <laughs> um, didn't Latifah do a wonderful job? Can we get some... Um, Clapping hands in the chat. Because one thing about it, when you don't like talking, it ain't easy to go before people. <laughs> I do want to thank you, Latifah, for coming on, for coming in, because you didn't have to. You could have canceled. You could have done anything. But you didn't. You came. You pushed on anyway. And I'm grateful that you came. Because again, um, my assignment right now is to help build well-rounded disciples. Amen. So thank you for coming on. I would love to have you back to talk on some. <laughs> you was waiting for me to go in tongues. You thought I was about to lose my English. But um, I would love to have you come back and talk on some of those other topics uh, with a business and things of that nature, because I'm trying to push as many people into the marketplace as possible. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're going to have, listen, we're going to have Brandy in the building. We're going to have her in the building. We just got to set it up. Amen. <laughs> amen so nobody has any questions are all hearts and minds clear yeah we're gonna have a time brandy <laughs> oh wait prophetess all hearts and minds clear Did you guys find it helpful? I hope that this uh, Zoom has kind of lit a fire under you guys. That's my my hope, my desire. Because I understand life be life. In. Okay, amen. So I'm going to let y'all beautiful people go. Um, I do want to encourage you guys again to click the link and set up your meeting. And as always, I pray the peace of God, the favor of God, and the abundance of God go with you. I speak peace now, even into your atmosphere. So you guys have a great night, an amazing night. And I will see the students tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed night.